Hello there guys, it's CoolFox over here and today I'm bringing you an unboxing and review of the Huawei smartwatch. Now this goes under a lot of different names but the one I have here goes under the brand Huawei and you can find this in the link in the description. Starting off with the unboxing, on the front you have the watch itself and on the sides you can see that it is all blank and on the back you have some specifications listed. It has the screen size listed which is of 1.3 inches, the battery capacity which is of 170 milliamp hours, the battery life which is of around 6 to 8 days which is actually pretty accurate, the IP rating of the smartwatch itself which is rated at IP67 and the system requirements. So opening up the box you will find the watch itself on top which we will put to the side for now and underneath that you will find the charging cable, an extra strap. You also get two extra pieces for the strap if they ever go loose and they fall out or something. You can always replace them with these replacements. The manual and a SIM ejector tool. So starting off with the manual, inside you will find all the needed information and how to set this up and start it all up. This is actually pretty in-depth and I would suggest taking a look at the manual as it is pretty important. Okay, so taking a look at the charging cable here. You will see that this is a standard USB type A connection and this here is a proprietary connection which connects to the back side of the watch. This is all magnetic so it will be a bit loose but make sure that it is connected properly so the smartwatch would start charging. Apart from that you have these two straps which as you can see there are cutouts for them to fit into the watch nicely and easily and we will replace these with the metal strap that is on the watch shortly. And then here we have the watch itself. So it comes with a little plastic piece on the screen so it does not get scratched during shipping, which you can obviously take off. So you have the 1.3 inch screen on the front here, a small touch capacitive button, which is the only method of going through the menu, a power button on the side, on the other side it is blank, and on the back you have the heart rate sensor and the charging connection. Something to keep in mind is that this strap here is metal and it is actually of pretty good quality. Something else to keep in mind is that this gets scratched very easily as you can see right here. And something else to keep in mind is that since this is magnetic it will attach to every piece of the strap itself. So sometimes it will get jumbled up like this which can be a bit of a pain to arrange. Turning this on all you have to do is hold down the power button. It will vibrate and then it will turn on immediately. So to wake up the watch you can either touch the capacitive button on the bottom or turn it on from the side switch. So as you can see on the front screen here you will have the time listed, calories burned, steps walked and also the date. Pressing it once more will show you the step meter which is the pedometer obviously. Once more will show you the distance covered, the calories burned, the heart rate sensor which turns on as you can see on the back. You also have a blood pressure sensor which is not going to be that accurate obviously since this is only a watch. You also have an oxygen level meter which also I am not very sure how accurate this is but you still have that feature listed. You have a training mode which when holding down the capacitive button will go into. So there are a few sports here listed which if you are going to play you should turn it on just to see how this works. And if you want to go into a certain one of them just hold down the capacitive button. As you can see it will have the pedometer listed, distance covered, calories burned and the heart rate. It will also show you the time of how long you have been going on with the session. So here's something to keep in mind is that actually it is not on my hand and you can still see a heart rate. So this is something that I wanted to point out is that the heart rate sensor is not that good. Obviously here I am not sure how it's getting this heart rate measured and since it is only on its strap itself I am not sure how accurate the heart rate sensor is. But comparing it to another watch that I have, this is not that accurate. So this is obviously a false measurement here and I am not sure why this is happening. In fact here comparing it to another watch I have, if I am on the heart rate menu, it will turn off since it does not detect a pulse. Which is what should happen with this watch, but it's actually giving me a heart rate for some reason, which I am not sure why. So to stop the session you have to hold on the capacitive button. As you can see it just stopped and then press the button on the side. To go back you press the button on the side again 
and as you can see you can go through the menu once more. Obviously if you're connected with the phone you have the messages, you have other settings here which holding that down you will see that you will have a remote shutter, a music player, a stopwatch which holding down the capacitive button will activate and pressing the button will stop. The brightness level here, which there are a few modes of which is pretty good and a reset button if you want to reset all of the settings. Pressing the side button once more will take you back and pressing the touch capacitive button once more will take you back to the home screen. Apart from that something else to keep in mind with the menu settings and the UI here is that it is actually pretty laggy and as you can see there is a lot of interlacing on the screen itself which makes the watch look very cheap and also the UI itself here is not a favorite of mine since it does look like a child's toy more than an adult's watch. So if you would like to download the application it is called Dafit and obviously you will need it to sync up the watch with your phone and obviously to also arrange the time and date. You can see that it does not have the best reviews ever since it is listed as 3.3 stars but it does have a good amount of downloads. Opening up the app, you would be greeted with this screen here, where you will need to put in some basic information about yourself. Give it the required permissions. And here you can add the watch itself. Turn on the Bluetooth obviously and it will start searching for the watch. And as you will see, we'll have everything measured here. I obviously have just downloaded this application on this phone since it is new but I had it running on my other phone and the application is actually pretty good. Here you can also see the battery of the watch itself and another way to check the battery is by pressing the capacitive button on the home screen. As you will see the same battery capacity is listed on the watch. So going through the app here you have different watch faces. Obviously here pressing through them, you will see that it will change. I prefer this one, but you can obviously go with the others if you want to. You can allow notifications to show on your watch itself. So for example, turning on Facebook and allowing it through the settings of the phone itself, you will receive all the notifications from Facebook on the watch. You can obviously receive phone calls, messages and all of these other apps listed. So turning on others will show all of the other apps that are not listed here such as messenger and these should all show up on your smartwatch. You can also set alarms here. You can have the remote shutter activate and as you can see if I press on this here as you can see there is a countdown and it makes a horrible noise here to show you that the shutter activated but nonetheless it works well. Apart from that you can go on the other step here and you can see all of the other different settings. After the messages you will have the screen with the weather listed. This is obviously being taken from another application such as Google's weather app or maybe even AccuWeather which is another weather application. Going back to the home tab here and going into the heart rate here and pressing on measure the watch will start measuring the heart rate. Now this is obviously as I said not that accurate and I would not rely on this heart rate sensor at all since as you saw earlier it also gave a heart rate on the metal strap itself. So here on the watch it is giving me a heart rate of around 68 and if you give it some time it will update on the app itself. Now this obviously takes some time since it needs to measure the heart rate for around 15 seconds before showing on the app itself. You also have the blood pressure sensor here which is not going to be that accurate again since even the heart rate sensor is not that accurate. You have the blood oxygen level here as well, which is not going to be super accurate again, since the heart rate sensor is not even that accurate. So the pedometer is also not that accurate sadly. Other watches at this same price point are a lot better with the pedometer and the other sensors. So if you go onto your profile, you can also change some settings here. You can set the goal, obviously, you can vary it from, from very little such as 4000 to a lot more such as 16000. And you can also click on your profile and it will show you what you have set in the beginning of the application when you set it up. 
So to take off the metal strap what you will need to do is take out this side from here. Obviously this is on the other way around since I did take it off and by mistake installed it the other way around. And then as you will see up here on the top you will see a little bar here which you will need to pop off with the SIM card ejector tool. Now this is a very tricky situation and I cannot really show it on camera as I cannot even do it myself when looking at the camera screen. Same thing applies for the other side and you will see in a moment when these are popped off. This is sadly not included in the manual itself so I had to try this by trial and error and finally found out the correct way to do it. Okay so here you can see that these straps are finally off and you will see how I connect these to the watch itself. So firstly put in the metal bar as seen here with the little ball point going in in this direction. Put this inside the hole inside of the watch. Pull down the metal ball point. And as you will see it will click into place. I hope you enjoyed this video guys and if you did please leave a like and subscribe for more content. This was Cool Fox and I'm out. Peace.